Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Sim Casino. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I've got a uh, very busy casino now, and I need to expand my options here. We got people playing at pretty much every table, and uh, up until this last bus wave, we had pretty much every seat full too, and this is with absolutely no marketing happening. So, it's uh, it's getting good. People have heard about our giant jackpots. <laughs> Not that big. Uh, but check this out. We got two high rollers in here now. They had a lot of money when they came in. They do not have a lot of money now. Oh, poor them. Poor, poor them. <laughs> okay, so I would like to uh, expand this area a little bit more. And um, I haven't decided if I want to do rows like this, which might be easier for people moving through to get to cards. Um, we're going to have additional attractions and stuff back here. I would like to get maybe like a buffet area going, you know. I want to do some sports betting off in this region. And then, of course, my poker room, which I'm going to just start committing to today, honestly. So, for the poker room, first thing I want to do is figure out how big are the tables. I mean, I know how big they are. But in the game, I, I got to see the space I'm about to occupy here. All right, so interestingly enough, they don't provide for 10 seats, but that's okay. They're, uh, they're smaller tables, I guess. And uh, But if I'm going to do it, I'd probably want it to be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably about at least eight tables is what I'm looking for here. So, and again, I know that this isn't going to make any money, and I don't care. I'm going to take and go maybe... All right, here's the thing. We're going to need another cashier, too, because we're getting lines for the cashiers. Yeah, I'm going to need more of those. So what I should probably do... We're going to make cashiers over on this side, too, I think, maybe. Actually, I should address this before I do the poker room. Yes. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab this cashier... Can I move you to here, please? Yep, and then I'm gonna add another bunch of cashiers. This is gonna make this room very crowded, but it's gonna mean that we can service more people in this smaller space. So now we get five people serviced in this space at a time, and hopefully that's gonna help. People are also waiting for the ATMs a bit more. So I'm gonna get another ATM machine. Let's get let's get two more. And then we'll move this light over to be like well down a little bit. Alright. So hopefully that clears things up because we're just really busy. So with my ninety thousand dollars that I have, I think the first thing I really should do. I, I want the poker room, but I I think there's something more important. And that's getting rid of these stanchions. And yeah, that's good. And then uh, we'll just call that. Yeah, we'll call that fine. Let's take the uh, clone area tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this area right here. And I think, hmm, you know, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm seeing the, the size of this. And I'm starting to think that maybe going down like this is better. Because it actually fits in here pretty well with the bar. You know? And I think they're gonna wanna have that I still wanna have that walkway right here. So if I if I did it like this, then I wouldn't have enough room on this side for it. I may have to move the bar. <laughs> it just keeps getting moved. It can be moved this way, right? We slide it this direction and then everything just kind of fits. But if the goal is to get people to walk through the casino, walk through the slot machines, then um, this is how you would probably want to design it. You have, like, this area where they're going to walk, but... Now, nah, I think we're going to make it right alongside the bar area here. All the way to here. I think that's how this is going to get played. Right there. Yeah, right there. And then I can do another one. 
right here, but I don't have the funds for it. I'm just going to let this play on because I'm, again, making, making lots of money. So I'm going to let this play on. But I'm just got to expand how many slot machines I have. And maybe I only go to here because I still want to do decor here. And actually, I've gone ahead and now, nah, I'm probably going to have to move these. I'll probably move these. In fact, you know, by probably, I mean I'm going to move these right now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move all of these over and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna place them like this Yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll fix the floor and stuff later too and then we're gonna put another row here So we'll end up having basically the, the door and then they have to kind of curve around I want to put some fancier decorations in here and I've gone ahead and done the research for that too so we have I think it's attractions elegant decor is done the next thing that's getting done is faster internet. Probably should have done this before, but faster internet actually allows, uh, it reduces frustration for guests when they use my computers and stuff, so I guess. But the thing that it really does is it boosts your research speed by 10%. So all the other stuff could have been researched faster. It isn't that big of a deal. I haven't had a consistent amount of money to do research, um, but just having them take less time is you know something that's kind of cool um now if you're wondering can you queue up research you can um it'll you can buy it you, you pay for it up front so sportsbook for example you pay for it up front like we just did um but it gets queued and they'll start it immediately upon the current one completing um so that's how that's how that works if you were wondering now you're now you know all right so let's make sure that this floor gets changed and then i'm also going to go ahead and copy this floor over like that like that that's going to be our floor for this now I may you might think I might shift this over but I don't think I'm going to I still think I'm going to do the 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 fountain here so we're going to come right in here we have fancier decorations available to us now and I want this fountain and I was thinking like it's it's it, I was always Ooh, that's, that's kind of an interesting effect, isn't it? Uh, I was originally thinking it was going to go right there, lined up with the entrance. But instead, I'm going to put it over here in this little area since I was going to turn this into like a little hangout zone. So we're going to go about like... Uh, let's go like that with it. And this is, again, going to really increase the environment score. Everybody's going to really like this. Um, we also have these big statues that we can do too. And it like really get fancy in it if you want it to. Uh, I'm not really going to do that, but like, look, you have all these different variations too. You can do so many things. And I think I'll probably use this stuff like up near the hotel and all that stuff. Like really make it fancy like that, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Not here. There's also wall statues. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. This will really help the environment score, won't it? Everyone loves these fancy things. Let's actually do this. Um the bigger one yeah we'll, we'll handle um put that one there oh my god that's five thousand dollars i had no idea of course it's fancy <laughs> why wouldn't it be uh okay well okay i guess that happened um maybe i'll move it over here to make it a little bit more centered in here but uh yeah that's five thousand dollars that's good do we have fancier chairs i should we should for all the money I just spent, we better have fancier chairs. I don't, it doesn't look like it. Unfortunately, no. Uh, we do have fancier trash bins if I want to. Maybe I should probably put some trash bins out here. Just for like all the, the bar and everything. You, you'd think you'd want some garbage areas out here. Um, we'll put a uh, trash bin like over here, I guess. Uh, actually, maybe back here would be better. Yeah, and then we'll move you to, um, you can stick it right inside here like this. Yeah. Now I have pit boss routes uh, through here. I didn't program them for you uh, in the last video, but I did do it before I started recording today. And um, I do have the pit boss, if I can ever find it, here it is. Um, we have the pit boss route that just takes them around to different stations and kind of does things uh, And then there's also security guards, which are also patrolling this room now. I have done the security Research So it is operations advanced security. I have done that now. So 
let's talk about that because I've never seen that that before. Um, you know, can I can I stick to one thing and, and finish it before I need? Can I, can, can, is that doable? Can we, can we have that happen? I don't know. Like, I don't think it's possible. Not for, not with me. Nope. We'll go out like this, and then go out like this, and then go like this, I guess. I don't know. And then maybe we get rid of this one. They can walk around. I don't know. Whatever. It's The stanchions probably can just go, but it's a thing. <laughs> All right. Um... I don't even remember what I was working on now, man. I'm all over the place. I just wanted to show you guys the pit boss and stuff that I, I did the routes. But now let's take care of the security because we are getting things stolen from us. So we probably want to adjust that. So staff facilities. No, security facilities. Vault door. Very strong door to block access to areas that require the best protection. It can only be used by staff. We can take a vault door here instead. So why don't we dismantle this and we place a vault door here instead. That's pretty big. And of course, we're going to want that to be facing the other direction, I think. Wait, that's kind of silly. Why would we do it there? <laughs> Wait, why would we do that there? That's silly. Let's not do that. This could be a staff door. I don't care. Um, I'm like, okay, yeah, you get through the vault in order for the researcher to get to his desk. Yeah, I don't know about that. Super secure room. I, I think I was going to say the cashier and stuff, right? Like, this is very... Like, this kind of cluttered, right? And I almost don't like having this many windows there, but it does work. I was thinking of having another cashier over in here, like right here. Because they're going to want that for when you do when we do sports betting and when we do the, the poker room, which is totally going to happen in this video. We're going to want, like, an extra, you know. Yeah, why do we have such screen tearing going on? This game has got some major screen tearing issues. I'm pretty sure I've got... I'm pretty sure I've got V-Sync on. Yeah, I do. Weird. I have to look at that. Or we'll just suck it up. Honestly, you guys probably didn't even notice it until I said something. And now you can't unsee it. There you go. I, I ruined it. I ruined the whole series for you. Uh, I did my thing. I tried. How are these set up? Are these are the... Which ones are these? These are the $2 ones. I'm changing these. They're going to be the $5 ones instead. Yeah, you're, you're going to be the $5 machines, whether you like it or not. Boom, boom. There you go. Now, if you're playing here, you're playing for five, but with, with $5. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at all the people coming through here, man. And this is with no marketing. We are getting very busy. They love it. They absolutely do. All right. We just instantly have, like, all of a sudden we have $40,000. So let's clone this right here. And we'll paste it right here. Uh, 63 grand is what this costs. We're not going to do that yet. Instead, we're going to do these. And we'll paste them here. And then we will slowly expand this to where we have even more machines. Yeah. We don't have fancy chairs. Let's slow this down a little bit. It's a little crazy. Uh, we don't have fancy chairs. And I'm thinking, like, I, I mean, I guess we could just do, like, these like double-sided things that people can hang out in, I suppose. Yeah, they can. we can maybe do some of these. I kind of want them darker. Maybe we have a match. Uh, if they're going to match that, they have to be a lot darker, like this. I don't know if they want to sit right next to the bathroom like that. And then this blocks my walkway, so I think not on that. Hmm... Okay, uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. I probably will move this all to the second floor. Speaking of which, second floor, you might be wondering where that's going to be. Well, um, this is going to get expanded out, and it will eventually be elevators over here in this area, and it will be kind of centrally located a little bit with the hotel. So um, I'm thinking of having the elevators kind of right here, and then uh, you'll go up to the second floor, third floor, whatever, and the rooms will be kind of around that area. So they don't have to go from one side all the way to their room. It They're closer because the elevators are centrally located. So it's, it's kind of like any other hotel when you go into them, really. You'll, you'll go up to the floor, and then you, you turn left or right or whatever out of the elevator, 
and then it's just like those rooms are to the left those rooms are to the right and that's it so you're equidistant from both ends of the whole thing and that's kind of what i'm thinking about doing there all right so uh as this game proceeds i am going to build my poker room uh, i just have to make sure i'm not like totally losing money because my vault is way under 40 grand right now uh so we are paying out somebody somebody's winning something in there it won't last long for every one winner there's like 58 losers <laughs> so it's gonna rise up all right we have enough to build the room now so let's take and go uh let's see wall tool i want to go all the way out here honestly i'm gonna go straight down from here and i want this to be what i build and it's gonna be about this far i think this is a huge expansion and we can't even use it all yet but it's gonna be set up it's, it's setting me up for later. So it's going to be about like that. Yeah. And notice how it, it kind of comes out, right, from this opening. So we'll have this here, and then it's going to be kind of about here. And that's kind of... That's our, that's our area. So our opening welcome to our casino kind of area. And then all of this ends up being... You know a second floor buffet and then the hotel and everything like the hotel and stuff uh is all up above now i'm actually considering now that i've got this set up i was actually considering maybe some of our entertainment stuff could be here but i would think i would rather people have to go through the casino to get to the entertainment like in all in all senses you want people having to walk through your casino you want them to have the chance to go you know what hey look at that Oh, look at that jackpot over there. I want to try that out later. You know, you want that. People getting introduced to your games while they're, you know, they may not even have the intention, but now they do, right? Uh, let's go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it like, uh, let's flip it around, go like that. And then we'll copy these two and put them there. And just like that, guys, just like that, we've copied them over. We've added more slot machines with even bigger bonuses and... Oh, yeah. The jackpots are stacking up, man. Now that we've got these to be all $5, I think it's probably okay to make these both all $10. Maybe we get rid of the $1 ones. I think we do. Nobody... Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want to play these $1 ones because they're just not great compared to the other ones, right? They're so... The $5 games are so much better. You really should just play those. Uh, I think this one's going to be here. Let's uh, set game settings here and we're gonna change the rules and we're gonna paste these game settings and randomize the games and now we have ten dollar games with four thousand dollar jackpots so ten dollar games all these are five dollar and there's a row of two dollars and a row of one dollar and um, so most of these are being susceptible to like huge jackpot wins but for the most part we're gonna make money more than we lose money there and then I don't really think we need any more machines on the super high roller games, but I would like to change just to go really crazy, all right? Just to get really nuts with it. This one on the end, the one game on the end. Wait, why is your play cost $10? Wait. Oh. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we want this TV even bigger than $10. This is supposed to be $50 games. What happened? Holy sh... No wonder we're not making as much money. What happened? I mean, these are all profitable, thankfully. They're all profitable. Uh, this one's not. I must have paid out at some point here. I don't know. But they're all profitable, thankfully. But these are supposed to be $50 games. I don't know what happened there. I just, like, somehow get screwed up. These are all $10 games with $10,000 jackpots. They're supposed to be $50 games with $10,000 jackpots. Oh, you know what it was? It's because of... Yeah, okay, that's why we did it. It's because of the jackpot chance being so low. Yeah, yeah. Okay, screw that, though. This end machine, I want it to be a $100 machine. All right? But the jackpot for this is going to be, let's say, you know, 30 grand? No. Come on. 40 grand we will pay out our entire our entire vault if you win this 
but it's this one game, okay? And it's gonna be the Link Thunder, all right? The Link Thunder game here is like, it's on fire, right? And everybody wants a chance to win that $40,000 40, payout, right? We gotta change this game because it's not allowed to be Link Thunder. You, you're not allowed to be this. I can't, I can't have you all being the same thing. What happened here? Elven Forest. You're not even popular. He has no installation fee. Nobody likes you. <laughs> We're going here. Uh, yes. Okay. So the Link Thunder is the big ticket game, and we're actually gonna move this just so I can really know if anybody's playing it. This is gonna be like, I'll even put a plant between it so that everybody knows there's something going on over here. That's a weird color for a plant. That's a big plant. How about a cactus? <laughs> I'm not putting a cactus inside. I can't put a cactus inside. Um, there we go. Yeah. That doesn't... That totally looks right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. So we have this big room right here, right? And I want my poker room. But this is expensive. These poker tables are $10,000 each. Very pricey tables. But um, we're going to do it. And how we're going to do it is we're going to have... Right, they walk through these games, right? We know that these exist. And honestly, I think maybe we move them slightly. Just move them a little bit closer to each other, maybe. No. Mm, okay, I think we have to open this up. Yeah, we're going to have to open this up. Okay, no problem. We'll just take the wall tool here and we'll go all the way out like this, too. Yeah. So then we're going to take and dismantle the walls and fences right um uh, we're gonna dismantle i think this part right here this section's gone we're gonna get rid of the wall light as well and then we're gonna get rid of this wall and i think i want to get rid of all of this wall actually we're gonna open this up a little bit okay now opening this up is Trying to figure out how I want to mark this. So I think I'll mark it with floor tiles for now, just so I get a feel for like how much I really need. We could start with one one table here. And um, I kind of want to design this almost like my my own favorite casino that I've gone to like a long time ago before COVID and everything. Um, I kind of want to design this poker room to be like that one. The only reason I won't be able to is because the one I'm thinking of has elevation. Um, in other words, there's a you you coming through here. You, you you got your registration and stuff. Then you step up a couple of a couple of bits of stairs, and then you go in through here. And then in the middle, there's an extra big table because they do tournaments in there too. And um, in the middle of it, there's one bigger table, and you step up on a couple flights of stairs to get to that too. So like I can't do that, but what I can do is at least everything aside from that. And uh, so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do that instead. Making sure my cashier is not overloaded. Actually looks decent, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 there's like barely any lines there now. Same thing with the ATM machines, everything seems solid. A little bit of a line at the ATM, but whatever, it's a line at the ATM. You know what I think this is, the screen tearing? I think this is my monitor screwing up. I actually don't think this is the game's fault. Um, so next video, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that next video. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that. Um, we have a betting booth and stuff, betting screens, sports betting, all that stuff. That's gonna happen over on this side. Um, I think we're gonna expand these table games, but sports betting is gonna happen right over here. I'm gonna mark that actually right here. That's where that's gonna happen. All right, but poker, that's something totally different. So uh, we're gonna take a wall. I think I'm gonna put the wall in. I'll expand this. I'm gonna expand this to where there's a, a few more card tables. So we're gonna put the wall like right here, let's say. About like that should work. So this whole area here will be my poker room. And this, ex this gets expanded later. So we'll do eyedropper here and just sort of kind of mark that. Yeah, and then uh, I'm going to expand it out this way, too. So let's mark this. Uh, ooh, hey, I got an idea, actually. Yeah, I got an idea. 
Um, it may not look good, so I'm going to just try to reserve myself in case it doesn't. But I'm... Yeah, let's go make a walk path, right? Like, so this this floor will look different kind of thing. I don't think it will look good. But we're going to we're gonna try it. So we're going to take and go like this. Right? So there's a little walk path here. And then they'll, this path will take them around like this. To the poker area, which is going to be right here. Okay? And then uh, this floor continues all along here. And this is additional card tables will be on this side. So they kind of like have a walkway. It's, it's going to look, it looks good. Okay. I think it does. Uh, we'll put this wall there and put this wall here. So this is now my poker room. And yeah, absolutely the poker room is separate from the rest of the rooms. Absolutely. Not that it has to be. It, actually the casino I'm thinking of, it's a bit open, but like whatever. I'm going to make it this way because that's what I want. Are there windows in this game? Because actually, windows would be kind of cool to put in. Yeah, right here. Ooh. Mm, I want full length. Yes. Full length windows. Oh, yes. I wish I could just do a, just do glass. This is good. I like it. Oh, yeah. I know this is expensive as hell. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, six and... No, we got to do seven, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You move here. Seven, seven. Outstanding. Give me the commercial double door. Or don't. Oh, right. It's got to be a wall. I forgot. You got to put a wall first, and then you can put the double door in. Yeah. It looks gross. Oh, can I not? Oh, can I not? Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not going to do that. Screw that. I'm not. <laughs> it's going to be open. All right. Uh, there is a little bit showing here, isn't there? That's annoying. Was that showing before? I don't know if that was showing before. I'm going to attempt... It absolutely was showing. Oh, devs, please fix that. That's gross. Oh, it's so gross. I don't like it. All right, it is what it is. Make another wall here and uh, move this to here. Okay, so seven and seven. Perfect. This is just going to stay open. I'm not going to bother with it. So the poker room is going to be... I'm going to let this run faster because I need the money. Look at how busy that is in there. All the people waiting for the bus. All the people getting off of the bus. Right? Uh, we are going to go and put in... Is there a way to place the table but then tell them not to play it? Like, can I select this and just turn it off? Is there a way to do that? I guess I can just adjust the schedule to be closed, right? I guess that's how I have to do it. So I'm going to do it that way. So I'd like to just have tables and rearrange them and stuff, but I won't be able to. So instead, I'm going to say size is five by three. So we could do something cheap, right? And I'm going to start with, I'm just going to use the sports book zone, even though we're not going to use it for that. Maybe the high limit gambling. Let's do that. So we're going to make little five by three areas so that I don't have to pay to move that thing around all the time. So a little five by three area. The first poker table, let's start from the back, actually. Five by three. We're going to go five by three there. That'll be one table. We'll have at least two spaces between them. And five by three here. And I'm, I'm going to do this not in a row. Like I'm going to mix them up and make them go different directions. Because that's kind of how the one I play at does it. Um, so in that way, we're going to go five by three like this. And uh, also five by three like this. Then we're going to have another 5x3 about... Uh, nope, not there. Uh, it'll be here. Yep. Um, this is no big deal. I'm not going to keep it, remember? Uh, and then we're going to say... And this is, this is a little bit... A little bit... Uh, mm, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. And then we're going to go 5x3 uh, here and 5x3 here. This looks pretty close. 
Since I can't do the big middle area, um, I'm kind of bypassing that and not doing it. Five by three here. And we can do one more five by three here and another five by three uh, here. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my poker room. Now we're leaving lots of space around the outside for walking paths, uh, for pit bosses, and for decorations and all sorts of things. But um, I said I wanted at least eight tables and um, well, I got 10, which is pretty nice. Now what goes here, right? Well, I mean, people are walking in from here, so you don't want to obstruct that. But I'm also going to have a separate cashier right here. So we'll have additional uh, cashiers for the card area. And then these guys can also use that. Um, I, it might actually work better to have the cashier right outside here, just so we don't get other traffic into here. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal because these are pretty far away from the tables. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have that. And then I also expected, or I also thought about doing a players club thing in here. But that's not important. I have it at the other casino. There's like a, a separate players club thing. I'm sure it's casino wide. I, I'm not a member of it, but um, they have a booth there to become a to become a players club member, like right there in the poker area. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, we're gonna do a, a couple of things here. We're gonna have a walled area, which is going to have the. I'm actually considering doing a gender neutral bathroom right here. Yeah, because then otherwise they don't have to walk all the way across to get that right. There's extra bathrooms. I kind of like that idea too. Let's bring this wall out to here, and it, it'll go. I think it can go straight up to here, but now we have glass into here, and I don't like that. Um, hmm. We're gonna have to abandon our glass area a little bit here. We're not gonna do sevens, unfortunately. But I have the next best thing. I have eights. Okay, that's the next best thing. I guess I could theoretically do this. And now there's seven windows. But how many of you guys will hate me forever for not having that symmetrical? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. We'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, we're going to make a, a cashier and a general neutral bathroom in this little area. So... Um, I think we'll start with the cashier. I can put that right here, actually, because then I can have the cashier be in both ways. Oh, that's good. Here and here could be the cashier. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll go probably like this for the cashier, and then this can be the bathroom. So first thing I'll do is we're going to set up a cashier window, which is located... Where did it go? I actually forget where that is. I know I'll find it here somewhere. Cashier window. Here it is. Cashier cage, whatever. Uh, we'll put one there, and we're going to put another one right there. So there'll be two people in here managing that. And all we need is a staff door to help with that. So we'll put that... Uh, uh, we'll put that in the... You know what? We'll put that in the bathroom. That's interesting. I mean, it's... it's is it is it interesting? Or is it just bad? I don't know. Like, you can go through the bathrooms, and then you go into... Nah. I don't think it works. I don't think it works. Yeah, I don't think it works. We're going to put it over here. Uh, we'll take this out. And then this is going to be a regular old door. Not sure where the stalls and stuff are, so let's mark this first. Gender neutral bathroom. Anyone can use these facilities. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, we're just going to use stalls in here, of course, so... We'll go one, two, maybe just two. We can go three, and then the mirror can be here. Oh, or it, or it can't. Why can't it? There. Hi. That was giving me a difficult time, wasn't it? All right, there we go. So it's just it's real easy. It doesn't have to be super fancy. It's just this quick little thing, right? Uh, and actually, this is a sink with a cabinet, which I think is overkill. But whatever, we, we need a mirror, right? A mirror for this? Yeah, everyone has a mirror in their things. Um, and then let's put like a little plant in there or something. Just to... Why is this white? Is this seriously a thing here? We... Wow. Oh, wow. We can color the plant. That's a, So that's a thing. <laughs> okay, fine. 
cool. Whatever. So gender neutral bathroom. It's big. It's no big deal. Uh, we can also do like the floor colors and stuff. I'll work on that uh, later. And actually, I'm not sure how we doing on these. Are we profitable at all on these? I've had thirty thousand dollars of income. Paid out twenty four thousand. So plus and plus. It says my lifetime profits is fourth forty two hundred, but I think that's because yeah, the table cost eight thousand. So the answer is yeah, they are kind of profitable. They're 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 doing something. Um, the roulette table is a ten thousand dollar purchase. This one's actually got a huge lifetime profit. Very nice. Uh, yeah, both of these tables have paid for themselves. Well, you just bought yourself another one. Good for you. Oh yeah, roulette ar around the edge. At least another roulette table. At least one more. Uh, yeah, maybe actually two more. Yeah, I'll do two more. These are clearly working. I mean, not nearly as well as slot machines, but, you know, it is whatever. There we go. Uh, so, we'll also want to grab three-card poker. Ah, three-card poker. We'll do blackjack. But they're doing about the same in terms of, like, how good they are. So We'll have a blackjack table there. And I'll put another one right here. So, it's like a back-to-back -back kind of thing. And uh, we're going to wait for that to come in for money. Money, money, money. Almost have it. Come on, bank. I got 53000 There it is. There's like $53,000 in my uh, vault. Just waiting for it to go to the... Um, ooh, actually, we, we, we did copy the settings, right? No, we did not. 10 and 10. And 10 and 10. Cute. That over here would be 10 and 10. Copy. And then I'll just paste... Yeah, uh-huh. And good, good. Uh paste. Thanks. And paste. I guess I did copy. <laughs> Wrong table though. Alright, good. So that's set up for higher um higher stakes during peak hours. So there we go. And then I'll have uh I think more blackjack or some three card poker or whatever over here. Or baccarat and stuff, right? I mean we have those other types of card games and stuff too. But I mean, like, like you can see these are nowhere near as profitable as the slot machines are, right? It's just not even close. So, you gotta have lots of slot machines. Alright. So, this is the layout for my poker room. And, uh, we're gonna look at floors. I'm gonna have all this stuff done before we open it up, baby. Probably won't even open it up this video. Unless I do this... I could let it run. Just let the game run and get like a hundred grand and then finish it off. I need 10. I need $100,000 for 10 poker tables, right? So, I mean, we could just let it run. By the time I'm done game, by the time I'm done decorating this, if I let it run full speed, I might even have it by the time I'm done. So, let's just see if it ha see if that happens. So, for the the whole room, I kind of want something really fancy for it. And um I'm I'm digging I'm kind of digging this. I I don't know why. I just kind of am. This one's interesting too, but it's it, it just feels a little weird. Same thing with this one. And um, I kind of like this one. But I want to change the color of it. So I want to change it to be a little bit darker. Yeah. So about like this ought to do. I think so. Maybe just a, just a little bit darker than that. Yeah. About like this. Now I don't want to do the shift because that changes this area too. And I don't want to change that. So instead, we're just going to run all along the edge here. And I'm just going to paint this. Like that. Okay? And, uh, and then we want to eyedropper this and just um, get that going through here too. And I just noticed how dark this whole thing is with this being black and this being black. So, I might change this, actually, to be blue. Uh, the floor, I mean. And um, by might, I mean, I think I will. Um, I don't think ceramics, because I think it should still be carpet. But, um, like, a carpet area, I think, is probably better here. The only problem I have with it is that I can't change the color of any of these carpet patterns. So, I actually have to find a, a color carpet that is exactly the right color, and there just isn't one. 
Um, so I think I'm gonna maybe brighten this up a little bit. I, I know I said I want the dark. I want I want dark floors for like the cards contrast and stuff. So I guess I might just have to change the walls because this is the, the walls are the only things where I really have a little bit more fine tuned control over what the color is. So I guess I guess that's where I'll have to go with this, like a black and blue sort of thing here. So okay. Okay, so this room is all taken care of with the paint job, right? So good. Now this room is all good. We got the dark here. For the floor here, I want like a deep red carpet kind of thing. And I'm looking for carpets. And I don't see anything that's really deep red, unfortunately. I see like a brighter red. There's of course this color, which is not what I'm looking for. I mean, it's close actually. If this was darker, then I would totally go for it. Um, but it's just not dark enough. And so because it's not dark enough, I'm, I'm actually tempted to go in and um, is there any floor at all that I can color? Like, I don't think I don't think that's built into the game, which is weird because you can color correct everything except for except for the floors. This would be interesting for Blackjack. Hey, that's interesting. Uh, we'll see. We'll see on that. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything that's dark red, like a deep, deep dark red. So I might actually go with the marble here instead, just because it's the right color. Unless I can find a ceramic, maybe it's not. It's just not the right color. Not quite what I want. I, I'm looking for something that's like. Um. Like this pattern is is great. I like this pattern. Um, it doesn't really match the walls, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it, it, I like it. But what I want it for color, though, is I'm, I'm more like looking for that same pattern, but to be about mm, maybe something closer to like this color red, right? A darker, a darker red, and I'm not getting that. So um, we'll just have to make do with, uh, with what I got, I guess. And since we've got this sort of really classy looking wall, I guess the marble floor does kind of work for it. So we're gonna go with this as our floor, I guess. I was hoping for carpet though. I'm still hoping for carpet. I really don't wanna do, <sighs> screw it. I'm gonna stop being picky. I'll just take this. I don't like it, but we're gonna take it. I mean, I, I like it. It's just not the right color. But it's the it's the cool pattern that I was kind of looking for. All right, so this is going to be my floor. Well, we've uh, we've made it to the part where the walls and stuff are all well, not completely good here. Hang on, eye dropper here and go. There we go. The outside wall is all fixed. Very nice. Good to see. Everyone's waiting by the bus stop. Fantastic. This is probably why people move the bus stop. So the people aren't crowding here the whole time. If I move the bus stop back over here, people would have to walk and they can get the bus away from my entrance. That might actually be a better call. But I kind of like the whole get off the bus and immediately everyone just rush through the door thing. <laughs> like, look at how many people are coming in here. 742 new visitors today, you know? Oh my God, my vault was empty for a second there. Did you see that? Hold on, did somebody win a, like somebody must have won a big ass jackpot. Can I see the records here? Restock bar, 390, well, oh my gosh. Like, my vault was actually totally empty for a second. Let me see, gambling. Um, I have $168,000 in payouts today. Wow, it's four, it's almost five o'clock. I'm actually not that profitable today. I've spent a lot of money today though. Yeah, I'm actually decently profitable here. In just the gambling area, I'm 40, 44, which is not not great compared to yesterday. Yesterday was $127,000 net. Love it. But somebody clearly won a jackpot just now because I went from 40000 in my vault to like nothing very quickly. So we had some people get cashed out. And that, yeah, they're all going into the cashier and like everybody's just here. <laughs> so many people. Okay, cool. So uh, we have 66000 
I want to build my poker tables, and we're going to go ahead and do that. You know what, though? This video is getting long, so how about this? I'm going to let this sit around and run for a little bit. We're going to get to the point where I have, like, maybe 120 grand, 130 grand in my, in my bank account, and then I'll drop the poker tables, okay? So let me just let it run. I'll be right back. All right, so I've let it run a little bit. We, uh, I was up to about 145, but then uh, midnight came in, and uh, you know I had my expenses for the night and everything. So it knocked me down to like 87 grand. I'm kind of working my way up there, but uh, it's going to take a little bit. I want to show you guys this, though. This is progressing very quickly. Daily profit and loss yesterday, which is day 22. Check out these numbers, okay? Gambling made 92,000 net, but look at this. We had almost, we're we're getting close to like half a million dollars in income, and we had three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars in payouts, right? So like we're still profitable, but like yeah, it's getting there, man. I made sixty eight grand yesterday as a total after everything, so uh, it's it's definitely happening. You know, this casino is uh, it's rocking, and this is working. I think all these configurations and stuff is working pretty well too. All right, so I've got 111 grand. Let's start laying in our tables. And again, I know this isn't profitable. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of everybody who is going to tell me that. It's, it's, I'm not. Right here. So I'm going to put each one of these in a high limit gambling zone. I'm going to make sure that people who play this really, really like, are going to be great with it. So I'm going to lay down the one. Now, just the one, first thing I'm going to do is I want to get it designed. Okay. So we're going to make these tables look perfect. For this room and uh we're gonna go to the designer tool and i think the first thing is i want really comfortable seats for these guys and um i don't really want to have like the armchairs and stuff this is these are nice seats these are nice chairs and they look they look consistent with like this room and i, I don't have these chairs anywhere else in the casino right now so i think we're gonna use these um and then i think we'll ha we'll have them be kind of like um uh, let's see. Do we make them like a darker, like a darker red kind of thing? Do we go with this? Can I change the color of the felt on the table though? That's what I really wanted to do. Oh, I can't do that. So disappointing. I was really like, that's what I really wanted to do. Oh, looks like all I can do are the chairs. All right. Well, if we're all we can do is the chairs, then I guess maybe we'll. I'll make them stand out. I don't know about the white chairs, though. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get rid of these green zones, too, so you can see them. So it's going to actually look like this. All right? Maybe we should just do that while we're designing things. Definitely not blue. Definitely not green. Uh, um, I was thinking, like, kind of like, dark, like a darker maroonish sort of thing. But now I'm thinking it doesn't work. So we can go dark chairs. I guess I can't change the color of the felt. So disappointing. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with the dark chairs. All right, dark chairs it is, and that's that makes me sad. Okay, turn the zones back on. I'm gonna go eyedropper. Let's let the clock run a little bit here. We're gonna go eyedropper, and we're gonna go bop, bop. Switch it over. Dealer in, near the back of the room. Bop. Uh, we're gonna go dealers to the back on themselves. Yep. Bop. Bop. And uh, like this. Dealer will be on this side for this table. We'll go dealer here and dealer here. Okay. So we've got uh, a whole bunch of poker tables set up, right? Now, we got to get their game design. And I probably should have done this before I uh, went anywhere. So these are high limit types of things, right? And uh, we don't really have, like, the actual, like, high-low sorts of things. It doesn't look like it's going to let me say, for example, 3-6 type stuff. So, um, you know, 5-10 hold them kind of thing. It looks like it's just a minimum bet. So I'm not entirely sure this game is playing against other players. Because because uh, normally you'd play against other players. You don't play against the house. It seems to me like maybe this is set up to play against the house and you just have the bet. So we want... I think I want various different uh, areas here. So we're going to need like... Maybe like uh, this one, like these two here, maybe are like fifty dollar, fifty dollar. Um, this one here can be, let's say, make these three a fifty dollar, even at peak times. 
this one over here, we're going to change it to where it's a uh, $75. And um, we'll do 75 on these ones as well. And we'll have, like, these ones would be 75 Yeah. Uh, and then here, we're going to do $100 tables. Okay. And uh, we'll have this kind of be like this. And then this one, just because, <laughs> just to see if anyone plays it, we'll do $250 here. So this will be like a big old high roller table here. Maximum bet is 1000 really. So it's not even that big. Honestly, if they're gonna be like that, then maybe these maybe these ones are five hundred dollar tables. Wow, that's that's insane. I wouldn't do it, but I know other people do. Um, I should probably just use the copy paste function, right? Let's just do a maximum bet table here to see what happens. Okay, <laughs> five hundred here, and then uh, I guess this one might as well be a hundred. And we'll turn this one into 100 as well. And we'll turn this one into 100. And this one can be 75. We'll leave that as 75. Let's leave this one as 75 too. So there's a little bit of diversity in like the odds to play these tables. But again, it's a huge area for not a whole lot of money. And it's actually a huge expense because we have to pay the wages of each and every one of these guys. But I just want to see, you know? Maybe I'll change it later. I don't know, but I just want to see it. I want to see a whole bunch of people playing Holden Poker. And you know what? I kind of want to. I kind of want to leave it open like 24/7. But we uh, will see. Is there like a sign or something I can put in that kind of denotes that there's poker happening? Because there's a sports betting sign, but I don't see any sign for poker, and that makes me sad. Okay, it makes me very sad. This is me. This is my sad voice. Okay. Look. My sad voice, guys. Put a couple of ATMs over here. And um, we'll put another ATM machine, I think. Now, nah, we'll, we'll leave it right there. So I don't think anybody's going to play poker, guys. Look. Look, nobody's in here. Nobody wants to play the super high odds poker game. Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think somebody would want to play somebody, anyone? Look at all those people that just got off that bus. Holy crap. That's a lot of people. We're just paying wages. This is just nothing but paying wages. You see this? All right, we're going to we're going to do this. Hang on. Let's let's see if we can get at least somebody in here to play, all right? Somebody come in and play. The limits are 10. Yes, some person. You there. All right, you know what? Let's let's get people playing the game, huh? All right, let's let's enter. Um, we're gonna yeah enter multi-select here really quick, and I'm gonna select these and these and these, and uh, we're gonna just paste the table game minimum bets. Okay, so all of these now have ten and ten. Let's get people in here to actually play the damn game. <laughs> Nobody wants to play 1,000 minimum bet poker. Why not? Oh, <laughs> uh, I figured. Okay, good. Now this place is hopping, huh? This place is hopping. Now, what we could do, because this is a this is a common thing, is if we start seeing people are playing cards a lot, especially poker, but other card games like blackjack and stuff too. Any, pretty much any card game where you're sitting down. Roulette, not so much, but pretty much any games where you're sitting down. We should get a route for drink servers to make their way around these tables and take orders for drinks and deliver them to the tables. That way, these guys don't have to get thirsty and go, well, I'm done. I need to go up and get a drink or whatever. They don't need to leave their chips behind, all that stuff. So we should get a drink server route to serve these guys. So what I want to do is... We're going to go for patrol route, and we're going to say drink server. And what I want to do, I'm going to have like one server for this room and one server for this room. And they're probably just going to get their drinks from the nearest bar and stuff, right? But I think what we'll do is we'll have one route uh, start here, and we'll have you head this direction. And maybe just like tag up near these tables just to see, you know, we'll put it over here too because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing. Um, we'll have that be one route, I guess. Yeah, table betting, we'll probably want to 
go towards sports betting too. So that'll be one route. And this is going to be something where we do this, let's say from, it's going to be like, um, like a 12.30 to 11.30 sort of thing. So we want zero here and zero here, but we'll have at least one drink server walking around this schedule, okay? And we're going to call this, uh, let's say cards, drinks, just so I can identify it in the list a little better. Um, okay, so then the next route, whoops, the next route we want is another drink server route. And this one's going to go through these tables and just going to kind of wander around and take drink orders, right? That's, that's what they do. And, um, you know, and then they deliver the drinks, of course, but this will be their route and maybe we'll have them the, yeah, we should probably have them go to the other side of this. Actually, let's, um, let's delete that really quick. I want you to go like this. Right? You're going to stop and take orders from all these tables. Okay. There we go. Just zigzag between the tables and get as many drink orders as you can. Okay? And we're going to call this... I keep doing that. We're going to call this one uh, Poker Drinks. Alright. So we have two, two drink servers. Perfect. Yeah. That's going to work great. I think the final thing I want to do, because theft is a thing and we're getting very popular. A thousand people today... Like, this is getting nuts. So, I think what I want to do, just to make sure we're not getting a ton of thefts, is I want to start setting up security cameras, too. I said I was going to do that, and I just didn't get to it. So, cameras are kind of interesting. They, they're ceiling mounted, and they look down in a radius. So, I'm going to put one... I think I'll put one right here. I kind of want to cover this area. Put one right here. And we'll cover this area over like this that'll be two cameras for the slots areas and then we're going to want to cover card areas so we'll put one camera there and also one camera there and then also in poker we're going to want to cover the card tables so we'll put one uh in this area like hmm, kind of have to bias it to i'm gonna have to have two cameras so one here and then the other one here as long as we're covering every seat we should be good so there's our cameras for now Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we need a security area. I'm gonna use this area back here for this. And we're just gonna take and maybe go about like this. It doesn't have to be very fancy. This little area should cover it. And um, in here, we want to place a staff door, of course. But we also wanna place security desks, camera booth. And we'll just have one booth for now. We don't need a whole lot for this. This one booth, and security office zone will be here. This one booth will cover, let me double check this. It covers eight cameras without having to uh, manually assign the cameras, right? So one booth should take care of that. Uh, so cameras are used to spy on potential thieves as they break through staff doors or attempt to steal goods from storage. Can also detect slot machine hackers. So I actually want another camera uh, right in here. Right in here would be a nice spot for another camera, right? So we can detect them coming through this staff door, and they're just, like, screwed, right? And then I guess I'll do another one. The staff door is there, so I guess I'll do another one. Although we should be able to... Eh, yeah, we can't quite see it. If I change you and move you to here, now you can see... Now you can see all of this area plus the door. That's the important thing. We want to see the door. All right, now it says you need staffed you need staffed camera booths. Each monitor's eight cameras. So what I need to do for that final camera, I guess, is staff this. I didn't know I needed to do, to do that manually, but it looks like I do need to. So uh, we have open. I think we should just leave it open all the time. Open it up, yeah. And uh, do we not have anybody there? Why would I want a designer tool on this? very important that we design the chair for the security booth uh do i have to like do something different with this again i've never used the camera system so this is, this is very new for me here um i figured it would be operated by trusted staff is it not requires security guard to operate so i guess i just need more people on staff that's probably a good idea anyway because this is not enough security people anyway so let's do five <laughs> Let's do uh, three and three. 
because holy crap, that's not enough. And then the patrols, honestly, we should probably adjust these two. I haven't adjusted my patrols at all. So slots patrol. Um, I still think this is an adequate route, but I think I'm gonna add this one and also get you into here and just add these little points here. Um, but m bigly, more bigly, uh, more people, please. Um, definitely, I'm gonna really ramp up my security forces because I think this is not at all adequate enough anymore. Uh, and then card room patrol, this was the original route. We're gonna change and amend, amend that to have you come around here. And then also you're gonna tag up in these areas just to kinda, just to kinda do it. We'll have uh, two people in here, have, uh, Let's go. No, we don't need anybody in here since this because they uh, this isn't open then, right? And then I'm not sure I need any security in the poker room per se, but we might as well have something. I don't think we need this, but I'm going to have them kind of navigate around between these tables. Yeah, just in case there's anything wrong. And this will be a very simple route starting at noon going till about 10. It doesn't need to be super fancy. Uh, we'll have two people, I guess, on staff for that. Zero on the off hour, zero on the off hour. So my expenses for security forces just went way up. And now I have extra security staff so that we can monitor the cameras. And now we can see when people cheat. And when they do, we're gonna need people to leave their patrol routes and go and get them. So now we've got a massive amount of people. I think, honestly, a thousand people is just Oh, are you chasing somebody? Yeah. Well, that's really weird. <laughs> um, so are you not able to catch them? Wait, they just disappeared. There's no car. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> Wait, you can chase somebody, but you move at the same speed as them. And when they reach the road, they're just gone. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh, like I was saying, I think this is not big enough anymore for our uh, our purposes. So I'm also going to expand this. But this video is too long. So I will see you guys for the next one for that. Look at this casino now. It is bustling. We are getting very close to wanting to explore having a hotel. Very, very close. Let's get sports betting set up first. And uh, maybe do something different with this entrance for a little bit. And uh, I think also, before uh, we get really into that, I want better house advantages. So I'm gonna buy that for research now too. Take it easy, everybody. Love your faces. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're having fun with this one. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.